Hello, it's Andy Graham with HoboTraveler.com. I wanted to show you my setup right now. Um, this kind of changes from country to country, but um, right now I I have my backpack. This is where my camera is, so I can pull it out, take a photo. See, I just pull the camera out of here, take a photo. I'm gonna put this down. It's got my computer in it also. Um, I got this backpack. This. Uh, this little bundle on the bottom is like loose pack clothes. I just rolled it up really quick. I can pack in about 10 minutes. But actually, all of this stuff will fit in here. Uh, and I also got a vest that I can take off and put on. It takes uh, a lot of stuff. But this just rolls up fast, so I don't have to pack by going slow. But I wanted to show my uh, secret pockets. I have secret pockets right here. Here, here, these are, this is for my passport in case it starts raining, and here, so I've got secret pockets, three here, and this secret pocket's my passport, with, uh, I've got a plastic bag in case it starts raining, you don't want to put it in there, otherwise it can mold all the time if it's always in plastic, these are button pockets, so they're Velcro in there, so passports here. Two uh, two protectors of ATM cards are here, inside a secret pocket. Then I button this up. These are Prosper um, Prosper military pants. So I just button these up. That button is about impossible to get a, a zipper. They can actually just do it. So they got to get through that to get to the thing. I always put my plane my bus ticket in here. So my bus ticket, yeah is right there. I've already got my bus ticket I'm leaving today. But here, right here is big big money. This is uh, right now uh, euros. I got a bunch of euros in there. Maybe 800 euros. And then my keys. I got my keys to my backpack so I can lock them all up and all this stuff in here. Okay, so these all these locks to lock these backpacks together and things like that. And then in this part side is the small money. This is where I have my money for uh, uh, just a trip. I took some money out earlier to pay for my plane ticket, I mean for my bus ticket, so I'm going to put this back in here. Um, but I'm getting on a bus, right? So I'll put this back in. I'm going to get on a bus to go to uh, Albania from Montenegro and uh, really what's in my small pockets? Really nothing. The reason why nothing's in these... Here let me show you. There's nothing in these. In the back pocket I have some paper for writing down notes and a lot of time I have a pen here but I got the pen in my backpack right now on this side I got toilet paper because you're gonna get to places where they don't have toilet paper you gotta be packing so my my pockets my normal hand pockets have nothing in them why because I'm gonna get on a bus I'm gonna sit down and things come out of your pockets as you try to stick your hand in and out so you lose coins I call it coins, and these euro coins are expensive, like it's a dollar thirty or something. So generally, I don't want anything that can fall out. The, the secret pockets are to keep things to falling out, really. So um, I don't have to worry about that. Of anything just accidentally falling out, when I stick my hand in my pocket, if you had bills in there, you pull your hand out, it'll actually pull the bill out, it'll fall in the seat, you lose this money. And a lot of people lose a lot of money just by things falling out. Uh, so this is my secret pockets. Uh, I think Paul wanted to know about this. I put my camera right on that table, then that's where I was shooting from to show this. And it's real empty around here. There's nobody within like 20 yards, so it's very difficult for snatch and run because I'm inside the turnstile area of the uh, bus stop. So, it's a, you know, there's limits to safety. It just keeps different levels, right? 